All right, everybody, um, welcome back to The Walking Dead. My name is Bo from Blades and Blasters. Let me start my recording there. Um, congratulations on being patient and making it through seven chapters. We're on chapter eight tonight after a long hiatus. Um, with us tonight, we have uh, Tet playing Jake Browning. Uh, Slip is going to sit out tonight. She plays Danny Wells, typically. We have Sim playing Connor Stetson. Bill Baker, played by Rogue. And last but not least, Mr. Ben Morton, played by none other than Walter Peck. And we'll go ahead and uh, take it away. Back to the third core, of, third floor of Celebration Cove. So if you guys remember during the last session, uh, it ended as you uh, did some preparations for Celebration Cove. You secured the fourth floor. You secured the food supply down in the kitchen. You scavenged the rest of the hotel, um, finding what you can, finding what could help you and aid you in survival in the, in the days to come. Um, the third floor, I think you guys didn't clear the third floor yet. There's one floor there, or four, second, second maybe. There's one floor that still has some walkers, but you've kind of sealed it off and done a good job there. Uh, you've done kind of a, a ghetto alarm system around the premises with, you know, empty cans and hubcaps strung together. Something that's going to make a lot of commotion if walkers would, would come through it. And then finally, Jake made a, a run to the outside to try to fix the, try to fix the generator. He knows exactly what he needs to do now, but he needs a few parts. And uh, as the sun sets. If you look through the windows, the sun is casting sparkling golden rays across the uh, Table Rock Lake as the sun sets on the uh, on the 14th of October, 2010. Let you guys take it away. So this is the sunset, you said? Yep. <clears throat> Jake, um had a very close run in with a walker when he went out to take a look at the generator um, he had been lucky so far uh, he had moved the right ways zigged when he should have uh, he didn't uh, didn't have any sort of close calls as of yet but this particular uh, encounter left him a bit scarred uh, in the in the head if not the body he returns inside and doesn't really talk to anyone and doesn't even think about uh, Olivia down the hall and how he wonders if she likes him too he instead goes for the thing that has been keeping him sane even before this all happened the one thing that has gotten him through his divorce the loss of his children and that's the bottle he finds one that uh, perhaps has been um, in his belongings for a while and pops the cork off of the um, of the whiskey and uh, actually he unscrews it it's not good enough to have a cork uh, he unscrews it the the half uh, the, the small bottle and takes a swig of it breathing deeply in the room that he's claimed as his own and uh, he sits on the end of the bed with his hands and his or his head in his hands knowing that uh, this is serious business and he wonders how long he'll survive and if he'll end up becoming a monster like the things that are outside. He takes another drink and uh, just will continue to drink until he falls asleep or someone comes and talks to him or whatever. Yeah, as you're as you're drinking, um, you hear footsteps behind you and it is Olivia. She says to you, you gonna drink all that by yourself? I heard you had a hard time out there. I'm sorry I couldn't be there, you know, to pitch in. Yeah, it's my fault. I went out to take a look at the generator and 
Those damn things are sneakier than you would think. Sometimes you just don't hear them. I, I don't... Maybe I just wasn't paying attention well enough. I, uh, yeah, here, you can have some. I've been... Uh, he looks around for a cup or anything. Uh, she just takes a swig off the bottle and swirls the amber liquid around. I guess you have some candles or stuff lit, you know, you probably there's no power and mm. you don't wanna wanna have any bright lights. She just kinda looks at it, swirl around that bottle, that amber color glistening in the light. You know, this stay that stuff ain't gonna help you survive. I mean it helps you get by, but it ain't gonna help you survive. I mean, I mean burning right. from walkers one thing, doing it hungover something else, friend. Uh, don't get much hungover anymore. Um, I have to say, I don't know if any of us are going to survive anyway, so. He shrugs. He ain't dead yet. You told me a little bit about your wife, but you never told me the whole story. Kids, too, or? Uh, yeah. Soon to ask. Two, two young ones. Uh, good kids. Good kids, yeah. She just uh, got bored with me, I guess, and I don't know. What do you think? We need to start talking in the past tense, friend. We're good kids. She takes a big fucking sip of the bottle. He just looks at her, and he hadn't really considered that, um, actually, and he kind of gulps and um, reaches back out for the bottle for her to give it back to him. She takes another swig and then before giving it back to you, so it sloshes onto your shirt. Just I mean, it's ain't, it ain't ever going to get better. We're all going to die here. Fuck, I came in here to try to cheer you up, and now look at me getting dragged down to your hole of despair. Jesus fucking Christ. Jake Browning, inspirational speaker. Yeah, well, um, no one's ever called me that before. Yeah, I kind of think we're in a better position than most folks. I mean, we got four walls around us, a roof. Smart guys like you looking after us. And we got that motherfucker with an assault rifle upstairs. Hopefully he's taking first call tonight. I could really use some shut-eye, Jake. Think you can? Uh, think you can? Uh, there's uh, no reason not to. Ben's a good guy. He'll keep watch over us. I've got one shift tonight. I'll do the same. We can't shoot nearly like he can, but I can watch. Well, I don't know if it's going to be. I don't think it's going to be after all this, Jake. But where do you figure we should do next? Can't stay here too much longer. I'm just. Afraid of the butcher and those boys. What they'll try. Yeah, I, I mean, they're animals, Jake. They're not. They're not good people. Yeah, I know that. But I mean, we've got a guy with an assault rifle. I mean, what are they gonna do? You just blow them away once we see them. I guess that right. Probably got them outgunned. They're cowards. So. I mean, we just need to. We need to get power onto this place, so we can get perishable goods in here if we need to. Go hunting. Stuff like that. Uh, try to figure out how to get the water running. Uh, or at least be able to boil it. Um, you know, just kind of the, the lowest needs on the pyramid, right? What, what is that? That's uh, like uh, food and security, I think. Something like that. I don't think that Maslow was thinking about the zombie apocalypse when he was creating his hierarchy of needs. For one, I didn't see any mention of bourbon on there. <laughs> well, I mean, it's uh, got water in it. Right? True. All right, Jake, I'm going to head off down the hallway. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Uh, okay. I'm probably just going to drink a little bit more and take a nap. She heads off down the hallway, and you hear a door open and close, and... Click shut. Just 
takes another drink. In the meantime, Bill Baker is uh, rummaging through some of the several rooms. He's been trying to keep it on the low low, but like he's been gathering a to-go bag, you know, planning on dipping out. I, I think it's like always on his mind, you know, uh, that he's not staying here with these people and uh, that he's got to move on. Uh, and one of the biggest things that keeps bothering him is that that bag that Danny has. It's got all the drugs in it. Uh, he's he keeps putting it off, and uh, he knows that that's going to be the last thing that he grabs and tries to sneak out with when he when he disappears. Uh, he knows he'll be taking medicine and stuff away from everybody here, and even the kids and stuff, and and it. It bothers him a little bit, but he's got to worry about himself, and he's got to worry about getting back down to Florida uh, to try and see his kid. So uh, that kind of trumps everything else. So he's been going through the rooms, going through cabinets. All he can find is Advil, Tylenol, just garbage. And, so are you, tr are you trying to uh, pack up some of the stuff, like the, all the stuff on the on the uh, the Haven sheet, or are you trying to scavenge and find some new things? He's trying to he's trying to scavenge and find new stuff, um, because I think you know he's got his drugs and stuff, but he he knows that it's not going to last him forever, you know, and he's trying to avoid taking that bag from Danny, you know, because that's mm -hmm. the last move before he leaves for sure uh, you want to ro roll a couple times on that hotel scavenging table sure yeah let's do it uh, how do I do that um, so go under um, rollable tables at the top uh, if you click on that um, you'll go down you'll see hotel scavenging and if you right click on that you'll be able to roll Flares. Oh, roll another time. Rope. So flares and rope. See now, now you can add that to your sheet. Now if you want to do a scout check, you can you can continue to look around. Just, but just be aware that you could uh, potentially generate stress if you push your luck. I'll do one scout. Two successes. Okay, we'll roll one more time on that table. Ooh, that's pretty good. Sleeping bags. Nice. So flare, rope, sleeping bags. And I could just drag that into my sheet. It might be a... Uh, no, no. I, those, those are custom for me. You can just write them in, though. Okay, cool. Yeah, so he gets that actually are actually are items in the game, but you can just write it in. Okay, cool, yeah. Yeah, so he gets the sleeping bag and he's like, Oh, I'll need this. And uh and then uh he, he kind of gives up on the, the rest of that floor. He's probably gone through it. They've all probably gone through several of these several times, you know. And uh and then he comes back in and and it just kinda like looks out the window. Uh As you look out a window, um, uh, one of the one of the uh, the singers, Carter Encino, kind of looks at you and sees you kind of scrub it, run, rummaging around and stuff. And like, you go, looking to go somewhere, friend? Bill snaps over at him like uh, uh, like he's a uh, he's caught doing something wrong. And then he's, he says, oh, no, I'm just, I'm just uh, looking around for stuff maybe we could use without a sleeping bag. 
Oh, good, good, yeah. Yeah, when you're done, you should go talk to Danny. She's making an inventory of all our supplies, and I think we're here okay for a while, but, you know, there's going to come a time, maybe next summer, that we need to get out of here. We need all the help we can get, especially if we're going to stay together, you know, find other survivors like ourselves. He's, he doesn't say anything for, for a little while, and then uh, he just nods, and he says, yeah, yeah, probably should uh, go do that. Uh. He's going to see if you're lying or not. Yeah, he's not a little untrustworthy. He look, looks at you and kind of looks you up and down and sees you carry maybe a duffel or something, something that just doesn't quite make sense. You can't go out there on your own, man. I mean, you won't last. Sorry, what did you say there? So you can't go out there on your own. You ain't going to last long. It's just, you know, backpack. There's strength in numbers. Don't leave. You'll draw attention to us. Start to get a little scared. I ain't going anywhere yet. Yet? Well, what's your plan? I mean, if you do leave, we... just tell them. You know, just let me and Maurice know, right? If you do leave? The fuck are you worried about, man? You got plenty of people around here to protect you. I want options. Stick around the capable sorts, you know? I got a bunch of people here that... They ain't done nothing wrong in their life, you know? I've seen faces like yours. You, you've seen some things, sir. Just like my buddy Maurice did back in ATL. <laughs> I ain't gonna help nobody by staying here. You know, you can sure hard a lot of people by leaving, though. You feel me? Attract attention? Get captured? What are you gonna do? Keep your mouth shut when one of those assholes pulls you? Toenails out with pliers. Threatens to cut your dick off. Fuck. Well, I know plenty of them in my life. Hey, maybe I'll be friends with them. That's what I'm worried about, man. I ain't leaving right yet. You better not. Listen, I'm going to keep my mouth shut, but if I notice anymore, it was funny, but it's just like... I mean, divided we fall, right? Bill gets, like, really serious, uh, a real, like, angry face on him then, because he, he senses, like, he's trying to threaten him. And uh, he starts to walk over towards him. Hey, man, hey, man, 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 I didn't, I didn't mean nothing by it, but... This is a situation that calls for cool. It's be cool. He points at me and says, don't you fucking say anything about anything. He kind of looks at you and tries to tell if you're bluffing. He's a little Larry David look in the eye. <laughs> um, let's see here. I guess he's going to use this... Uh, He's got a talent here. Uh, gain plus two manipulation with... Uh, that's that's for fixer. Well, I guess it works. I don't know. Uh, when you haggle well, for it game. here. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so he just... He just tries to uh, kind of intimidate him, I guess. And, uh, and scare him a little bit. Um, You can roll manipulation. Yeah, he backs down. Hey, 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 man. Okay. First do no harm. I ain't gonna say shit. I mean, Maurice, I'm gonna tell him. He's my brother, you know. But I ain't gonna say shit otherwise. It's between you and me. Right? Right? But... 
need a couple brothers to have your back, you let me know. He relaxes a little bit and he just says, besides, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing yet anyway. Got any, uh, you know, makes a trigger motion. Gun. Makes a little air gun with his finger. He says, yeah, I got one. I ain't got any extra, though. Okay. Okay. So I think, really, I mean, currency these days is bullets and fucking guns, right? Where the fuck did you come from? Oh. You've been here for days, man. Fourth floor. Me and my buddy Maurice recorded a tune. Cross the sound there at Atlanta Studios. You never heard of us? What would be an R&B act from Atlanta in the early 2000s? Much R&B. If it ain't country or rock, I probably don't listen to it. And uh, he says, all right, Carter. The Velvet Echoes. <laughs> you never heard of Velvet Echoes? Uh -uh. <laughs> <coughs> oh, man, it doesn't seem like we run in the same circles. Listen, man, your, your secret's safe with me. And, but if you do think you're going to split or things turn a little hairy around here, I'd rather trust the guy with the gun the face looks like he's killed a motherfucker than, you know, Miss Hotel owner downstairs. Uh, he doesn't say anything to that. He just kind of like stares out the window again. I, I, Carter just kind of holds his hands up and backs, backs away and walks down the hallway and goes into a room and, uh, uh, Bill, you can hear kind of hushed voices as him and Maurice start to talk. And it's about 7 or 8 o'clock at night now. Unless there's anything else, we'll go along to Ben and Connor. Uh, ben, unlike uh, Bill threatening black people, he's actually having kind of a what goes for normal in this uh, world they live in now. Uh, at first, over the table in the hotel room, he's kind of taken over. Uh, he has the various guns he's acquired disassembled, and he's cleaning them out of the A bag that he had brought from his double wide. Uh, he has a gun cleaning kit, and he's carefully scrubbing out, you know, any uh, carbon buildup and lubing up uh, with some CLP, the, the bolt and uh, bolt carrier. He kind of does an inventory of his ammo. Uh, he's still doing good on pistol and shotgun rounds, but he kind of eyes the stock of AR rounds, knowing that he's going to have to go out and find some more over time if he continues using them at the rate he had uh, over the last few days. After cleaning that and putting it back together, he uh, goes over to the adjoining room. Uh, the door has a wedge in it to keep it open and in there is Liz and Kat and he had a little lamp sitting on their table and they're kind of keeping themselves busy with some coloring books he had found them in the lobby when they had first taken over and he brings in uh, some food for them it's kind of a mix of dry goods and maybe some bottled water and finishes it off with their uh, lucky charms uh, the boxes so quite has quite a bit left he's only given him a couple bowls but uh, that seems to cheer them up a little and he sits and kind of tells him stories about when he was a kid just to to keep their minds off of what's on the other side of that big bay window you know and the the horrors outside of there and keep their minds off of 
uh, the death of their grandparents and parents and maybe tells a story about his time at when he went to Six Flags when he was about uh, Cat's age and all the roller coasters he went on. They eat their cereal and uh, look like they're going to ask Ben some questions, but then, you know, as the oldest daughter gets prepares to ask the question, uh, uh, one of the survivors goes over to ask Ben a question about uh, the food supplies, and when uh, Ben turns back around to him, they're both like asleep with their just like uh, a little bit of their milk still in the bowl. Yeah, they have, eat, they have to drink all the milk before it goes bad. What was that? I'm sorry, I had a little one asking me a question. Said so you would have to uh, drink all the milk in these next what next few days, or it's all gonna go bad. Yeah, he. Uh... He knows, and he maybe he answered the guy asking about food, that all the perishable items are going to be prioritized to be eaten first um, before uh, they get some sort of electricity going to uh, save stuff that they come across. Uh, you know, keep it refrigerated, keep it stored properly so it doesn't spoil. Uh, they can eat that now, enjoy it, and then they'll soon be moving on to, you know, saltines, Ritz, cereal, peanut butter and crackers, things like that, until they can um, find something more long-term, uh, which he's not even thinking about. He's just thinking week to week, day to day right now. Uh, and seeing the two girls asleep, you know, he waits a little while, making sure they're in a deeper sleep and kind of gently picks them up and carries him over to their beds in the adjoining room and lays him down and puts a blanket over him and heads back into his room to kind of just quietly stare out the window and, and think about uh, the next move. What's Connor up to? Connor is being relentless in his um, in his patrol duties here. He's he's taking a walk around the perimeter uh, multiple times, uh, making sure that there are early warning systems in place. He's sweeping, double checking some rooms that uh, were on the floors that were empty, seeing if there's anything laying around that's uh, kind of interesting. But uh, he, he definitely. Um, just keeps walking, and there's nothing else to do, right? He just keeps walking it um, with a bottle of Jack Daniels, I'd imagine, uh, sipping on it as he goes room to room. He's not expecting nothing to be there, but at the same time, he's he's ready with it with his shotgun and his, you know, one hand. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, he's he's he just wants to make sure that perimeter is uh, nice and tight, um, no loose gaps, and then he'll sit down for a while, and then he'll walk it again until he gets tired, right? Mm -hmm. As you're walking the perimeter, you don't see any walkers nearby, but every once in a while you'll just smell something awful and, you know, as the moonlight falls upon it, you'll see just a mangled corpse of probably somebody that was just enjoying their vacation down there at the lake before the walkers fell upon them and now they're just like a bloody heap of entrails at one point you even see a deer carcass like pretty close to the hotel and if you go to um inspect if it's like usable meat you can tell it's been spoiled because the the stomach has been ripped open and like all the innards have just like spoiled all over the meat and it's already just swarming with flies and that sort of thing right yeah, as he's, he kind of looks about and sees all the carnage, he shakes his head. <sighs> Just a few days ago, it was all normal. And then he'll keep moving. And so we're going to go ahead and spend the night. Who's going to take the first watch? Um, Connor, but well, he's already kind of been moving, so he's kind of used to taking that first one.
Connor's going to take the first watch. Uh, when does that end and who's going to take second and third or are you just going to, how are you going to split it up? I mean, do we have enough in the group to kind of mm, yeah, do a regular fire watch, like mm -hmm. reliable wise? Yep, you have like 28 guys or something like that. I mean, look, um, yeah, you have uh, 25 people there now. I mean, I figure we could do small groups, right? And the three people that we trust, you know, like Connor and um, Ben and Jake and stuff, uh, can kind of lead it. So that way, at least there's somebody we know, like, hey, I got to wake up the group and not just panic and start doing things. Mm hmm. So I guess we could divide some of that labor up because it's you know the hotel is pretty big. We don't need a lot of people. I imagine like three, you know, three per um, every couple of hours or something like that. So he's going first. Kind of well, and he'll take any anybody. At, he'll ask for volunteers. Anybody want to keep watch to the uh, for two hours? I guess break it up like two hour rotations. <laughs> It'll take second. Jake would go with Connor to chat. Okay. Then, uh, then uh, what's her name? Would would volunteer then Olivia? Yeah. So first is Jake, Olivia, and Connor. My my two uh, what are they called in this system? Friends. Anchors. Anchors. So second call is going to be uh, 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 Bill. Who else? Maybe Brandy. Uh, Brandy, uh, Big Paul starts to raise his hand when nobody else does, but then when Brandy raises her hand, he puts his down. <laughs> All right, then I guess he will raise his hand. He's... Oh, shit. You make the old man with diabetes stay up all night? Shame on you. <laughs> all of you. <laughs> So Big Paul, Brandy, and Bill, second call. Third? Or do we need a third? Eh, we probably do, because we figure that's two, four, uh, six hours would be the third. Jake going to do that one, or is he going to sit out? No, Jake. Oh, no, you're, you're uh, on the first one. You're it on would be Ben. One. Ben and somebody. You ben? Yeah, Ben can pull the third. Ben... Uh, we'll say uh, Bella Storm. She probably volunteers. She wants to be a leader. Uh, and um, maybe the dad of the girl who probably feels indebted to you. Uh, his name was uh, Ronnie, I think. Which girl was that? Oh, the girl that... Um, the girl that, uh, oh, the, oh they're, they're orphans, aren't they? The dad of the one that that, uh, that Danny saved was wrong, I think. Yeah, Kat and Liz are orphans. Their whole family died. Yeah. I gotta add them to NPC lists, actually. Liz and Kat are on there. They just don't have their last names. As NPCs? Yeah, if you oh, go yeah. to the uh, NPC list. Oh, I see him. Catherine. There's Catherine and Elizabeth. And then the last name's Watkins. Nope. We have Manny, okay. Ronnie, and Bobby. I just didn't, I just didn't have them in the... Uh... I didn't put them in the sheet, I didn't think. Oh, we got quite a few down there. Elizabeth. Let's find the ones without images so that way we make them both have to do images quickly. <laughs> All right. Let's see when this happens, boys.
I was just bragging on uh, Serenscape and it's giving me all sorts of problems today. I don't even hear anything. I might have to drop it. Hmm. It's, uh, the interface is all screwed up. I can hear it. It's not loading. And... There we go. What the heck? See, like it's just spazzing out on me. Oh. It won't let me hit. It won't let me hit the all stop. That's not from this game. That's like a preset. Um, there you go. <laughs> I know. It's insane. Yeah, it's just spinning. It's not my internet. My internet seems fine. Oh, I'm not even connected to you, Bill. It's working great for Sim. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't show me like what's playing, like all the interfaces are wonky. All right, here we go. That's fine. Ben. Bill. Haven. Connor. Jake. Bella. Brandy, Ronnie, Big Paul, I think those are our only NPCs, eh? All right, somebody roll me a 1d3, see when, uh, see when this happens. Go ahead, someone else. I'll do it. First, where the cool guys are. Where the cool guys are. All right, set the scene as the uh, you know it's like I don't know, probably midnight or so. First, first watch. Um, ben, yeah, Jake has Jake. Uh, Jake has been drinking, um, and <laughs> uh, he took a short nap, probably about two or three hours. It's kind of groggily getting up. Uh, he uh, is not hungover at all, um, as he is a uh, practiced hand at this sort of thing. And uh, he uh, walks out and meets Connor uh, and says, Oh, yeah, uh, where did you want me uh, for a shift? Ah, well, I mean, we can just do roving patrol. Uh, what does that mean? Just walk the perimeter. Outside? No, inside. Okay, good. We need some, get somebody up top. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, I can do that. I'll take your pick. Uh, I'll go up. That's fine. Uh, I'll leave you where are you going to go. I assume she's there. Yep. I gotta change her uh, token, huh? Her default token. I'm gonna go wherever you go. <laughs> I'm gonna be by myself. Do we just wanna do it all together then, or? Looks at Connor. Yeah, I mean, we don't need really up top. Perimeter is the more important part. Up top just gives us advance notice. And again, you guys go up top. I bet the bottom we got walkie talkies. Uh, so, do you want us to go up top, or are we all going up top, or? Nah, you both could go up top. It's only two things we need to patrol. It's the second floor there, where it's all. Enclosed and the bottom floor so nobody sneaks in. The top floor in case anybody approaches. I could cover the second and the first floor, ain't no problem. I guess we're on uh, 
lookout duty then, Olivia. After that, you first, Jake. New game. Just don't break a wind on your way up. <laughs> he looks at, uh, no, I don't plan on that. Um, and he uh, looks over at Connor and then starts walking up the stairs. Hey, uh, question though, uh, since I did a role play with Olivia, do I get to take away some stress? You do. I think you could take all, away all of it if she's your anchor. She is. She is my uh, NPC anchor. I meant to change it. So it says Brandy, but she ain't as hot. Olivia Bradshaw recently divorced. Okay. By her own hand, literally. <laughs> and so you go up and uh, see what the weather's like here. warmer than usual how boring so it's a it's a nice warm night uh, once you get up there a uh, slight breeze and there's nary a cloud in the sky without all the uh, light pollution it's uh, any other time jake browning it would be quite romantic up there with with ethan of course with ethan. this time <laughs> less than uh, ethan uh, with olivia how's, how's it with, name? <laughs> with olivia and uh you know of course 24 hours ago she just shot her husband so she Probably not in the mood for, for romantic thoughts, but uh, it's a it's a nice night up there. Uh, Connor, what's it look like? Are you inside then? Sleeping around? Yeah, yeah. There's no need to go outside. If anybody's outside, they got to come in first. So you're searching around. Give me a scout check there, Mr. Connor Stetson. Connor Stetson. Uh, I'll push. What? And here we go. Let's start it out. Yeah, you don't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> you have one stress. Uh, so Jake and Olivia, Jake Browning, um, give me a scout at uh, at a plus two. Because you got the get the, uh, the the ghetto alarm system up there, you're looking out after. Yeah. So you see, unfortunately, at one point there is a cloud that kind of goes over the moon, and you, you think you see like a lighter, like out out by the water, like somebody's lighting a cigarette or something. And as your eyes adjust to the light, you and the, uh, I said Ethan, but you, you and Olivia are making small talk. And you see what looks to be like a bunch of, what is that? Are pontoon boats or boats? Are they, are they unloading people onto the shore? You see a bunch of pontoon boats just cut the engines, drift off, and you see people start to unload kind of into the shadows on the, like on the shoreline. Um, like in, they duck right under brambles and bushes and things like that. Yeah, Ethan, or uh, Jake, now I'm Ethan too. Uh, Jake says, oh shit. Uh, do we have, uh, do we, Do I have a walkie-talkie to talk to Sim? He mentioned it. Uh, up to you, yeah. I think yeah, you have access should. to him, right? Yeah. yeah, then we would have him, obviously. He, he goes, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. And he goes, hey, Connor, 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 they're coming up. They're, I think they're getting ready to, to try to storm the, the building. Who, who's they and what side? I, they're coming from the the, the lake. I, they, I don't know. Uh, he looks at Olivia. I, th I think the ones that uh, Olivia ran from. Uh, if I had to guess, I can't see real clear. It's pretty dark. But they're being real sneaky about it for sure. All right. Uh, with and the lake sides, um, you know, kind of things. All right. I'll start heading to that side. Uh, keep an eye on them when you can't see them no more. Come down. Uh, wake up, Ben. And the others. Olivia, when go you get come Ben. Down. Olivia, you go get Ben. Huh. Right. I, I still don't see him, Ben. Jake, Jake, where, where are they? 
I don't see them. They're, they're, I see them. They're, they're coming. Trust me. The pontoons, they, they just unloaded a bunch of people. Trust me. If it's a false alarm, then I'm an idiot. But I'm, I'm not, I swear. Just go get them, quick. I, oh, shit. She sees them like, uh, one of them hop down. And, like, she can see, like, they maybe have weapons. And she's like, they're armed. Jake, be careful. She disappears uh, downstairs. Um, so your action is sending for help. Jake, Connor, what are you doing? Connor's moving to the side. He needs to be on. I did know the layout pretty well now, right? So he didn't know what doors that uh, needed to be washed with the shotgun pointed at him. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, and Livia's going down. Um, for their part, they are moving from long range to short range. Bo, am I, I'm inside the building, right? Um, just looking at a window or something? Yeah, I'd be fine if you want. Yeah. Uh, do we got a flat, flat roof or is it a uh, gabled roof where it needs to be on that window? That'd be the question. It looks like it's it looks like it's gabled to me from this picture. Yeah, yeah it does to me too. So you'd have to be at the very top floor window then? Yeah, and that's, that's where I was. Yeah, probably by like where uh, uh, this R&B singer's room was. That probably would be the exact room, actually. So they were on the fourth floor, right? Yeah, Jake, uh, he would he would there. open the window just enough where he could stick his gun out if he had to, and maybe listen a little better. But he stay he stays next to the um, he, he keeps like crouched down. It's pretty dark in there, right? Uh, he didn't turn on it. He didn't light any light to let them see in, but. Yeah, kind of. Uh, you can see the... more of them start to unload, Ted. Yeah, he says, oh, there's at least five of them. All right, sit tight. We can ambush them. If they, ever, if they break in, they're going to get the shotgun blast. They'll start backing up. Maybe you can start picking them off from the top then. Uh, did I'd you... rather have Ben up here with his rifle than me with his pistol. Well, if he comes up there, then you can swap with him. You could come down here. All right, all right. What, what if they, uh, is there an entrance in the, so it, wouldn't the main entrance be over here? Yeah, the main, that's the main entrance. There's, there's probably some deck, like, you know, there's probably some stuff that goes out in the okay. back too. Yeah. Um, I'm yeah, trying to find the link there for, for, for Sim. Sim can't find those strings. It's a great link. No, no, yours goes to rogues. Uh, let me try to find the link. I don't, I don't know where it would be. Let's see. If, if you got yours running. It's running right now. Uh, we'll have to pick up the same issue. Download remote, show remote control settings. Um, how do oh. I get the link? Yeah, so I, I, it's got to be where... Um, the only way I found it was by clicking on the link and going to Rogues, and then I leave the game, then it comes up as me, and it says share link, and it says I can't share because I don't have a subscription. <laughs> I <laughs> just noticed that I'm the game Tet's master. Is Tet's working? Uh, yeah, Everybody's I, I working hear everything fine. Up. But, but you know what? Sim tried to join my game um, earlier, too. It says you could not join your game because you are already in another game. Yeah. But I, but I hear you phone fine I don't know how to get that link just click on your link in the rules and resources see where it takes you and then leave the game if it's if it's not yours what link in your Remember, rules and resources yeah the link to your Sirenscape. go in go in discord rules and resources it has links for prankster Oh, uh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I was gonna add you, but I can't add you because there's no permission to send messages in the channel. Uh, hang on a second. Bo. But see, that's weird because I, I was never in a Rogue's game before. Same. Yeah, I've never built a game. Like, I don't even know how to... I, I went, I took that link. That's funny. And it, and it made me the GM, I guess. Alright, I just sent an invite to Rogue and Sim. You did? Yep. Where? Oh, there we go. 
I need an invite too. No, I, see, and it says it invited me, but it's not giving me an option to join it. Invite the game. Oh, I see uh, bows. Fucking Theron's game. Yeah, I accept Bo's invite, and then it puts me in the row here's, of the game master. Here, here's, the, here, here's the link. Here's the link. And I'm in Rogue's Gaming. <laughs> See if this works. <laughs> See if that works, maybe. Wait, wait, wait. That's probably not it. Um, <laughs> that's, cool. that's not it. How am uh, I in the game master? This is weird. This is annoying. Um, that's okay. what it is. Let me let me end this game. That that's what I'll do. I'll end that game so that everybody can not be in my game. Let's see if that works. It takes you right to rogues again. It takes you to rogues. Yeah. Uh, oh, maybe I have to regenerate. <laughs> Go to try. Try that one. No. Still, still I don't get it. I'm gonna log out of Serenscape and try to close that. I don't know what the fuck just happened. What did I, I say have... about this? I don't have Serenscape. I know we were we were. I was singing its praises right before we logged on. I shouldn't listen <laughs> anymore. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't understand this. That, that's weird, man. See, and I can leave Rogue's game. And it says I have you as a contact, but there's no way to, like, join from that contact. I don't understand that. All right, I, I closed mine. All right, so let's try. No, oh, still says Rogue's. <laughs> Wait, no, I, I join. Hang on, I see a bull and I see join their game. Bull is in another game. <laughs> I'm not in another game. Oh, bull, you're in with me now and Walter Peck. <laughs> how did I? How is mine working? Here, here's what it currently looks like for me. That's exactly what mine looks like. Well, mine says Game Master Rogue. <laughs> That's what their sh show, too. <laughs> Rogue, they're it's playing one, music, damn it. <laughs> shit, if I can just go back in and, and be the... You can't You can't hear me, then. No. Here's here's what I'll do. Okay, we're going to fix this. We're going to fix this right now. <laughs> all right, I'll, here we go. Leave we'll game. We'll edit all this out, don't worry. There we go. Everybody leave. Everybody leave. Me too, even? Yeah, I think everybody's going to leave. Right. Give me a minute. Leaving Rogue's game. Oh, I unlinked my device even. Whoops. End game. Confirm. I'm going to close out everything. Hang on. I'm still trying to leave Rogue's game. Oh, now it says Bo is the game master. Where? <laughs> in my... No, 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 now you're in. Now, now everybody else. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Now everybody... Everybody join that. Okay. Yeah, mine's magically fixed. Boom. Fixed. Sends in. Sends in. Rose there we in. Go. Can you guys hear anything or no? No, we'll have to reset it. I'll reset it. That's fine. Player app version's old. Please upgrade it. That might be the problem. That might be. All right. Is everybody on? No. Hold on. <laughs> How tough is it going to work? I had to reset my password. <coughs> yep, there we go. Yeah, reset his password. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder none of my buttons were work. Remember how I was saying all the interface was all weird? Yeah, I didn't notice that until Sim said that you're, he's in my game. I'm like, what the hell? My game? I, I never use this. Best part of it is you're not even a contact or nothing, right? <laughs> so I'm like, what in the world? <laughs> All I did is go into the resources and, and join the Bose link, you know? Right. Take over the game. 
I must have been the first one in there or something. I'm in. I don't know. Cool. Hit me with some tunes. Yep, it's. I gotta. I gotta restart my. All right, there we go. Got now is everybody using the app? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. I'm, I'm, I'm bringing up my app again. Let's see here. Player app is old. I think that might be the problem. Okay, I'm gonna play. There War we pigs. go. Got it. Yep. All right, we'll just keep playing this War Pigs. <laughs> Razzes. <laughs> All right. Ben Martin, what are you doing? Let's bring up the excitement. <laughs> <laughs> so is he getting woken up by a, a woman? I don't know. Like J Jim and Ben are probably asleep. Well, Olivia, I sent yeah. Olivia down to find him, right? Yeah, Olivia comes down. Morton Baker. Uh, we got company. Jake's up on the roof, or uh, one of the windows. I think. I think he's in the the brother's house or room. They're unloading on the shore. Come on, get your guns. Come on. Ben kind of hops up quickly and. You know, his training from years in his his life prior to um, Branson, he throws on his, he already had a shirt on, but he throws his pants on, immediately grabs his rifle, puts his uh, molly uh, belt on that has his pistol and knife and immediately makes for the door. Um, and uh, does Olivia have a walkie-talkie or anything? She does. She does? Oh, no, uh, Ben had it, right? Or no, Jake. Jake wouldn't be me. Jake, Jake and Kai. Jake has it, yep. Okay. He's like, there. he's there. Okay. Uh, and he's kind of shaking the the sleep off. He said, they're coming from the shore. Is that what I heard? Yeah, yeah. At least the ones we saw. Okay. That's what I need to know. Get a walkie-talkie for me. Get back. I'm going to go over to the back here on the ground floor. You tell him that. Go. All right, all right. And she runs back up to, to Jake. And is there like a, a main entrance uh, in the back? There's a main entrance in front. There's probably a main entrance in like the back. Like a secondary too, yeah. entrance, yeah. yeah. Back here. He's going to go to the secondary entrance, like down the end of the hallway, and kind of get some cover uh, behind the wall. And he's going to quietly listen. Yeah, Connor, you see Connor. He's already down at the main back door. Mm -hmm. And uh, give me a scout there, Mr. Connor. And uh, are you with? Are you with? Uh, are you with Ben then? Yeah, if Ben comes down there. He'll see me. You make yeah. any noise coming down, Ben? <laughs> no, he's going to be quiet. I mean, you'll hear the shuffling of like pants and maybe like some clinking of uh, magazines uh, in their pouches as he comes down the hallway towards him. Gotcha. He'll kind of give a look back, see it's you, and uh, put his gaze back on that back door. Bill. Yeah. Bill, uh, he grabs that, that sleeping bag with the rope that's wrapped around it, makeshift backpack, throws it on, checks his, checks his rounds and his pistol, and uh, grabs his his fucking shovel and uh, heads on down there as well. He's gonna back them up um, or uh, move to a hallway where there's some cover as well so he can peek around, uh, lean the shovel against the wall next to him and have the pistol ready. Connor makes his scout roll and sees three of these guys kind of decked out in black paint and there seem to be little flickers of flames at their sides and they're coming up to short range and you see them all start to light something. Ah, uh, hell. What do you do? And we're going to enter, we're going to enter combat. We are. Yeah, Connor, as soon as he sees that they're lighting Molotov cocktails, he's going to pop one. 
uh, does Ben see this too, or is this only um, Connor? Uh, he was he was saying the Molotovs and yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as he hears Molotovs, he's gonna, you know, rush up and get a firing uh, firing angle on whoever has the Molotovs. Yeah, because we can see we can see the both flames, right? So mm-hmm. uh, you look at Ben. I'll take left. You take right. Ten four. And then he get on the radio um, to Jake. Uh, Jake, it's Connor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get ready. Uh, what do you want me to do? You'll know. He, he doesn't he want to say nothing over the radio. Yeah, he doesn't respond. He just kind of looks out the window and gets ready to put his gun out. So the way this works is there's phases in these brawls. So like, you know, combats with multiple people. First phase, taking cover. Second, range combat. Third, close combat. Fourth, movement. Five, first aid. And then six, incidental stuff. So the first thing is going to be take cover. I think you guys already did that role play wise. And I think, I think the NPCs did that as well. And so next is ranged combat. And what happens there is everybody just kind of declares their target. The PCs go first typically. So you guys already said like, um, Ben, you're, you're going to target who, which one, Toby? Uh, yeah, he can John. Be the one on my right. Yeah. Toby. And then, uh, Connor, you're going to target. John. Yep. Okay. So bo- both of them are going to throw their Molotov cocktails. Uh, but if you kill them, they're not going to go off. If they're not, if you don't kill them, they're going to throw them. Uh, same thing with Nails, the bed fellow. He's going to throw his Molotov cocktail towards the building. Uh, Olivia. Him. Yep. Olivia is going to fire at. Uh, the same one that uh, that Jake is. Yeah, we'll shoot at nails then. We'll shoot at nails. Um, the other guys, um, they are going to. They're going to. Oh, that's not, it's not movement phase yet. So they're just in cover, and then you do uh, combat. So people shooting e- kind of towards each other. Um, there's going to be Ben and Connor first, so just do, uh, Ben and Toby. What does that look like, Mr. Ben? I guess, I guess they're, uh, I guess they're, uh. Well, the good thing is, um, you know, without light, it's harder to see someone in the dark, but the, them trying to light the Molotovs gives their position away. And uh, he kind of leans out from cover and, and quickly fires off around at the one on the right, like Connor instructed him to do, before they can do any serious damage to the hotel. Yeah, he rears back to throw as well. Let's see if I can get this right. Let's see if I can get this right. Oh. Boom! Success is uh, two. So, what do you want to do with that? So that's going to be damage pumped into him, right? Yep. Yeah, so he's definitely taking his two damage. He just aims for what he believes would be center mass, kind of based on where he sees him trying to light it. And as he brings the arm back, he hits him right in the the torso, maybe not a lethal area, but someone to cause serious damage. And, you know, maybe the cocktail falls out of his hand or, you know, he throws it and getting hit by the bullet throws it way off. And uh, he has at least prevented one person from torching the place. So uh, you're going to incapacitate him with that second success so he can't throw it? Yeah. (laughs) Unless it breaks at his feet and catches him on fire. (laughs) (laughs) Probably would, actually. (laughs) Yeah, so what does that look like as you kill him? Yeah, uh, it, it hits shatters him. on yeah, near well, his feet. Yeah, instead sort of it, yeah, it shatters and it does the classic, like he does the, uh, ah, ah, so the, the flames kind of creep up his legs and into his arms and engulfs him. And he does the Wilhelm scream as he like tries going running off back to the water, and, but he doesn't quite make it. And maybe 
goes to a knee and then collapses forward on the the sandy beach just 10 feet away from uh, the lake. Connor, uh, Mr. Connor. All right, so we use a drive because it's plus two, right? Mm hmm. Once per session. Yeah, yeah as, as, as almost simultaneously as uh, Ben shoots, Connor would shoot it as uh, the one that's almost to the, in front of him. So you have net one success. Oh, you know what? I, I guess it's a wash. You're supposed to, uh, since they're in cover, one success only gets through the cover and the other one. Oh, gotcha. Doesn't, so technically that would be a miss. Let me push it. Woo. You messed up. That's fine. Maybe I exposed myself too much. You did. What does it look like as you kill him, though? Yeah, Connor, um, uh, as he takes aim and the guy gets ready to throw it, he hits him. Uh, it goes through the glass, shatters it, catches it on fire, but he also hits him in the chest. So he can't, he's, he's instantly just kind of going to collapse there. Um, but he has to lean out the window a little more than, than into the window a little more to get the good shot. All right, um, Jake and Olivia. Yep. Uh, so Jake leans out, and he's a little nervous, but he's already kind of got the window propped open. He practices kind of. Uh, he's he's shot on the range a couple times before, and he's you know got a little bit more practice after this. But you know he's not definitely not used to shooting down uh, on a target like this and he just kind of leans his arms uh, out the window and fires it nails the bed fellow. <laughs> um, nails the bed fellow. Yeah, range combat. You know what his role is back at the war pig camp, right? Yeah, I, right? I, I get it. <laughs> um, why is it not shooting? I selected my gun. Yeah, I clicked the red icon. Just, 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 it, just yeah, click yeah. on it. Yeah. No, no bonus dice or anything? Uh, it's, it's cooked in to your weapon. Okay. It's a mess. I'll push. Push it. Real good. That's two damage. He's battered. Does it kill Let's see if she... Or... No, still. Yeah. Still alive. He's battered. Let's see if she, if she hits him, though. I might... They can't push though. If she has a pistol? Yeah, she does. Yeah, she definitely does. No, she misses. So, what does it look like as um, as he lobs this thing and it just explodes here and sets this place on fire? Damn! I thought I shot him. I thought he's he not thought... dead. Now he's he's able to throw it. He's able to get it off. Oh, I thought you said if we hit him that they. Because they all took two damage too, like Connor. And... They took three. They took they took a bunch. So you can use the extra successes for for damage. Well, I get two, I get two successes. Right. Yeah, everybody has three HP. Okay, I'm just okay. I'm not trying to argue with you, but they all got two damage. But anyway, that's uh, uh, the base damage for the assault rifle. Right? No, never mind. So you got though. So you hit him, right? Mm -hmm. So no, I'm, so 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 Walter Peck hit him, but then he used his extra point for damage. So it works like Coriolis, kind of. That makes sense. I'm just looking at the rolls, and they're all the same. Like, did you did you roll a Molotov or a Nails Bow? Nope. Didn't like that. I thought I did. I got War Pig was the last one. I was wondering if we just didn't see it. Oh, I thought he got success. It was my bad then. He might miss. 
to answer your question, Tet, while he's rolling, the base damage for an assault rifle or a shotgun is two. So mm-hmm. my extra damage brought it up to three. Okay. Three is how many he has, so he dies. Okay. I, yeah, I, thought, I just thought it was worked in, so that was, that was the confusing part. But, yeah. So yeah, and, nice. then, and then on Connors, after he pushed it, he got five successes, which is way more than he would need. Why don't I see? Oh, I see. I see that now. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's fine. I was just confused. All right. So his his Molotov, he's like, he gets shot and just like throws it. Ah, fucker, throws it. It explodes against the the corner of the building. You guys start to hear screams from inside. Now, let's roll on the mystery table. What's Bill Baker doing? Bill Baker. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot one of them motherfuckers. So as the thing hits, screams split the night as 1d6 NPCs catch fire. On a 1, a PC may also catch fire. Four NPCs catch fire on the inside. Who would be huddled up in there? Just some unnamed ones? I would say that could be any one of them. <laughs> yeah, just start with the unnamed ones, probably. Okay. So, Bill yeah. Baker, you're inside somewhere, right? Yeah, he was kind of, uh, he was kind of, like, I guess, uh, Connor or an, uh, uh, who was it, who was it, uh, that were firing out the front there, or the back there? And Connor and Ben. Yeah, Connor and Ben, he was kind of behind them, I guess, deeper in the structure hadn't come out to where they were um maybe if like the if the flames burst through uh, the window and started catching people on fire um maybe he'll he'll try to save some of them first so you can you can try putting out fires um so a fire is based on like the strength of it so if the furniture is on fire which is the case here the fire strength is six so you have to beat a 1d6. So if you want to put out that fire, you have to beat... How many successes did I get? Where's the actual roll? Does it show you the actual roll on here? Oh, 66. Um, Sorry. No, no. That's why. So he got two successes. So if you want to put the fire out, you would have to meet or beat uh, two successes on a survivor. Uh, survival, leadership, or force rule, depending on like how you want to put the fire out. Like, do you want to try to smother it? Do you want to lead people to put it out? Do you want to um, use some sort of other survival skill? Maybe survival. He'll try to. Um, yeah, he'll probably just use his. Uh, you know, use his fucking sleeping bag or something, uh, trying to put the flames out. All right, make the roll. One success. Almost. Uh, you can push it. He'll try to push it. All for not. Sticks for nope. one success. Nothing. What does it look like as you actually give yourself an extra stress there, Bill Baker? Okay. Because you have just seen four people be lit up in flames. Yeah, he runs in and he tries to... uh Tries, he tries to uh, tries to help him, uh, which is probably a little unlike him. Um, and uh, and when he tries to, he tries to get to somebody, and he throws the sleeping bag around him, trying to smother the flames. But um, it's kind of too late as he starts to peel the sleeping bag off. Like their skin comes with it, and the person is just laying there, suffering in pain. Uh, and he looks up and he notices the others are just not savable as they're kind of rushing around the room and they start to uh, run through the hotel yeah yeah and uh he uh he says motherfuckers and then he grabs his gun and starts to go for the door back out to kill somebody for it all right uh mr connor as you expose yourself, you're going to get shot at. 
by one of these guys on the shore. Now you're still in cover. And he does hit you, you take two damage. What does this look like? This is the first time somebody's been shot. No, no, easy now. I got body armor of six. Oh! <laughs> so this is only the second one time. That's only, the, you only have two damage. This uh, is the, the third time yeah. I've been shot. Okay. <laughs> Nobody's actually took damage, though. So you say roll, I got, your body, roll your body armor. You gotta roll it. That's right. Uh, uh, yeah, it's like Coriolis. There you go. Does he take two or three damage? Because the rifle does two damage. Well, he was in cover, though, right? Oh, that's right. Yep, yep. Yep. So you so, would take two damage. One of them's neglected, though. You only take one. Um, so I take one damage? Yep. So that would make you... What would that make you? That dropped me down the bruise. Yeah, bruised. Yep. Um, uh, no other ranged combat. So the next phase is close combat. There's no close combat. Uh, movement. NPCs. Uh, these are as are all going to move. Uh, he's going to stay back. This grenadier is going to move up to short range here. You have to do mobility to make that happen, according to the rules. Kind of makes sense, I guess, during a firefight. So you get do it. Nope. He needs to, he has to stay. And the other ones are just staying put for now. Oh, crap. Six more of these guys show up. Peckerwood and Trina show up. All right, and all of you guys see this at this point since you know exactly where to look, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, it's going to be round two. And I roll on this table again to see what happens to these people. Yeah, Ben, if you didn't hear Connery, kind of yells, get the fire extinguishers. Smoke inhalation. 1d6 NPCs and any PCs inside make endure roll. NPCs fail equals death. PCs fail. One damage. Who's inside? Just Bill? I'm technically, technically we're inside, but we're yeah, you're not like right in the window. I mean, yeah, you're not like inside, inside. Bill Baker, you make endure roll. Uh, can I uh, uh use my drive for this one? Yeah, how, tell me how it applies. Yeah. He, uh, he notices the smoke. He notices just how quick the fire catches, you know, it's just, it goes up. 
super fast and um, and that's a and that's a shock to him fills with smoke um, those people died real quick and he's stuck in there already uh, just trying to make it onto the back porch and uh, uh, he feels uh, the smoke coming into his lungs and realizes he's got to get out of there if he's gonna save his or see his kid again so You get a plus two. Okay. Uh, two plus two. Success. What does it look like? Yeah, he he uh he uses his uh he just covers up his face as he's coming through the uh, the place with the pistol. Uh, he finds the exit, and uh, he moves through it, trying to trying to get it as much cover as he can. He follows the sounds of the gunshots and the screaming. Come out there and try to back up Connor and Ben. The MP NPCs barely survive. There's like uh, the four NPCs that have the smoke inhalation. They're they're kind of like uh, stop, drop, and roll. They're they're like down on the floor, coughing <coughs> as a, as the hotel on the inside starts to fill up with smoke. As you know, the the two that died died in place, and a, a couple of the people that got burned lives like ran through the hotel, hotel spreading flames as they went. Uh, so, Bill, you're you're uh, letting the fire go, and you are going out front to help, huh? Well, yeah, I mean, uh, if he's going to die standing there, yeah, he's not standing there. <laughs> All right, round two. Anybody uh, moving or taking, everybody, I guess everybody's taking cover, right? Is uh, Toby working Toby dead or is that a new one? Toby's dead. Zed's dead, baby. Let me see if I can hang on. Toggle visibility state. There has to be a. Here we go. Yeah, it's gonna be tiny. There you go. See that? Yep, I see Toby. And the other dead. guys, the other the other guys, dead too. I don't see a name on him, oddly enough. I changed it so if you hover. If I have her on it, what? I don't see it, but it don't matter. There we go. Now it should hover. Yeah. yeah. So, well, question. I got this talent. Since we're getting in our faces again here. Since I killed the guy, would that relieve my stress? Yes, it would. At least one of them? Yes. I gotcha. He's taking a thrill to killing people now. <laughs> it <fact>. relaxes him. <laughs> In fact, it's every time one's killed. It doesn't have to be you. It's pretty I mean, good. As, oh, as, yeah. the way that, as the way that's written. In that case, that'd be two then. Yep. Driving in chaos of battle, I guess. Alright, everybody takes cover. Uh, so it's the range combat mode. Uh, PCs, kind of declare what you want to do first. Well, do the um, NPCs coming out of the beach, do they have to roll mobility to get into cover? Yeah, I'm not going to do that, though. <laughs> that's, just, that's just too many rolls, dude. It's like they should be able to get into cover, like, right when they're coming on. Jesus. I can make you guys roll. That'd be fine. I'll make you guys do it, too, then. We're not moving, though. 
So it's an advantage for this time. <laughs> we, we got the home base advantage. Nah, I don't. I don't think it really. When matters, they move, but... when they do, when they move, they do have to do mobility. Yeah. And if they get into cover in a new area, yes, I will make them do that. I, I would just say you could probably stick it to some type of rough terrain, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like grass shouldn't be a mobility role, but uh, maybe mud and sand or something. Yeah. It's maybe a. Maybe some of the NPCs uh, try fighting the fire inside. Yep, you can definitely do that. You want Bella to try or somebody? Yeah, Ben just kind of yells, Bella, and I know Slip is in here. Danny, get the people together. Get the fire extinguishers. Get this place out. Let's do Danny leadership. How's that sound? Works for me. She's, she's pretty good at that. Yeah. I we'll have to include her in the roles of people that might possibly die. Then, though, <laughs> I'll give her. I'll give her mouth to mouth. Bring her back. <laughs> Sorry, I slip. You died uh, off camera. All right, here you go. Is it sixty-six now? Oh, the whole building's on fire now. Though it's uh, eight, eight, eighty-six. I will say she'll sell this furniture. That's fine. So one success she needs to get. None. Push her. Push it. Push her. She does. She puts out the fire. What's it look like, Danny? What's it like, Bill? You can. I'll let you role play it. It's your idea. Danny, uh, uh, Danny sees Bill kind of stumble out the front uh, coffin and uh, fall to the ground as he starts to uh, reach for some of his pills. <laughs> and uh, she, she, she runs uh, and hears the call of. Um, uh, ben shouting to grab the fire extinguisher uh, and it just kind of clicks for her, you know uh, and she starts to shout to the others giving each each of the NPCs orders you know that uh it snaps them out of their panic mode they're just running everywhere and uh, so many of them are in a panic and and flipping out but uh she's able to like round them up grab the fire extinguishers and actually fight the fire and put it out. All right, rest of you boys and Bill, what are you guys going to do this round? I'm going to shoot at nails again. I guess Olivia will too. All right. No, I'll shoot at Connor. If, if, she, if, she, if I kill him, then... She Connor can only shoot at nails because he's the only one in short range. The other ones are long. Yeah, Ben will engage the ones coming off the uh, um, beach. Does there look to be like a leader or someone shouting orders? Uh, probably uh, Trina would be the highest ranking one now. Yeah, if like maybe Trina comes up, you too, blah, 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 just like barking orders. You so. hear her being like, get close, burn it down, yeah. flush him out like birds. He sees her and he, he knows, take out the leadership, so he's going to... He's going to aim at, uh, at her. Old Trina. All right. And Connor, what are you doing? Um, well, you can only hit one, right? So I guess, uh, Nails is going to be dancing for a while with three people shooting at him. So he'll shoot at nails as well. Since it's only one in range. Try to figure that. Trying to figure that out. Alright, there. And the pistols probably have the same problem, don't they? Yep, they have the same problem. Bill Baker, what are you doing with this round? Bill's gonna snort a pill, take some stress off. Yeah. <laughs> Take that stress off, son. 
Does it, uh, does it take, Fire like, one? Or... on, you're chopping up pills. <laughs> does it take off both? Take off one point. Well, okay. uh, are the other ones, that, they didn't move forward at all, or they just, it's not just get off? Yet. Yep. Oh, gotcha. That's it. That's at the end. Yep. It just takes off one, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, this guy is going to shoot towards you, though, Connor. Because he has a weapon with the, with the range on it. All right. You want to go first, Mr. Ben? Yeah, I think I'm going to use my drive protect the children. You know, the there's kids in here. There's trying to burn it down. Um, he already heard the screams of people hurt, and he kind of thinks of Cat and Liz kind of waking up scared, um, hearing the commotion and the gunshots, and, and he wants to put these people down before they can get closer. Um, so he's going to try and take out their leader and maybe break the morale. Come on, boys! Swarm them! There's more of us than there are of them. I have my two bonus dice. Very nice. Very nice. She's not shooting at anybody. Success three. Two, two. Uh, you can kill her if you'd like. We're going to keep one alive. She's going to die, though. What does it look like? So she's just barking you know, orders at these guys just being, you know, burn it all. You show them we're going to have some fun tonight. Yeehaw! And then as she's finishing her yeehaw, she just gets it right in the throat and it kind of blows out the back in a spurt of blood and she reaches up to clutch at it and falls backwards, just gurgling and kind of twitching as her blood kind of runs and mixes in with the sand at the beach of the hotel. Connor, or do you want to go first? Why don't you go first there, Jake? Okay. Since Connor's going to be getting shot at. Yeah, Jake leans down. He, he's the fire's completely out, correct? Yes. Yeah, he he's just kind of nervously. He shoots at the guy, sees the fire just erupt and burn for a few seconds, and then he just he just keep firing, and almost in a panic, right? Uh, push. Not enough. Didn't he already have two damage though? Oh, does he have armor? He's not even cover. Oh, okay. But the girl can go. It's opposed to against his. Uh, does he have a? Only has one of those. Yeah, he only has one of those. Might gonna shoot at her. Let's see what it she just does. Just shoots and it just misses, unfortunately. Bad angle. Yeah, she she shoots and misses. And uh, he shoots back at her. Miss. She ducks. You hear the bullet like fly. It like comes close to you. Um, I about called you Ethan. <laughs> Jake. It, uh, like, she she it's calls like, you like Ethan right too. over your head. Yeah, right over uh. your head. Uh, Connor, you're up. Yep, seeing that flash that came out, he's gonna. There you go, boy. Yeah, so as he, uh, as he, uh, sees the, the guy pop up to shoot, um, he's gonna take a shot, almost like simultaneously, that way he gets a good beat on him. And he can't see where he hits him, it's too dark, but he, uh, sees a silhouette just fall, right? You hear Trina be like, Jesus Christ, people, you... And she just goes silent. Um, but whether for fear or some other reason, you all try to continue forward. Um, 
All of you guys have gone. We're into movement phase. Any of you guys gonna move? Mm -mm. No. Nope. Stay a lot. Grenade your Keith. No. Peckerwood. No. They're scared. No. No. Nothing happens. Uh, you do see what looks to be a, a shady, like one bigger boat, like that ski boat from earlier. It, it's drifting out here towards shore and it's starting to drift in closer and closer and closer. All right. So they couldn't move. So now it's back to, uh, what, round three we're talking of? Mm -hmm. All right. So drawing tools, select. Let's we'll see if it happens here. If I... All right, cool. Let's do that. I wonder how I can pick the color of my pen. Do you guys know how to change like the settings on the like the drawing implement? Oh, here. Yeah. Right click on that. Configure drawing lines. Stroke color. Red. Configure drawings. Yeah, there you go. All right, Bill Baker, what are you doing? Um, if I can, I'd probably get a shot off at uh, somebody. But uh, do we have range here with the pistols? You, yeah, you, you're in short range. You can't hit, hit anybody quite yet. Okay, yeah. He's just going to uh, get some cover behind the wall. Would that, uh, would that be a movement? No, I won't make you roll for that. Okay. Yeah, he he kind of creeps up a little bit. He was probably hanging out in the in the doorway to get air from the uh, thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, he he slides up next to uh to uh to Connor or Ben. All right, Mr. Ben. Let's see here. He's going to look for another one. We'll just go... Dude, Grenadier Keith. As they're Grenadier trying to Keith. move... As they're moving up maybe along the way... That's weird. As they're moving up along the way, you know, he may be shooting every once in a while to keep them... Keep them down or keep them covered. That's what's preventing them from advancing. And, you know, he sees this guy. Not that he knows his name, but Grenadier kind of get up and make a run for it. And he's going to blast him. All right, Connor. What target? You don't really have any right now, do you? Nope. So he's uh, uh, knowing they're beyond his range. He's gonna sl slide down on the ground a little bit, and he's gonna check his wound. He feels the the burning sensation. No, you can do first aid and stuff, can't you? I think I think I think first aid in this is actually just to get somebody from broken to battered. Right. So yeah, because he's just bruised up right now. Yeah, but he's yeah, he's, he's, he's he's going to slide behind 100 percent cover though. It's not too bad. You're shot, but you know the bleeding's controlled. Uh, you're moving everything. Your bone seems intact. It is a flesh wound. It is a flesh wound. Jake. I guess he just yeah jake or just i don't know he's he can't like ready a shot or anything like that i'm guessing that's possible i don't know i didn't see nothing Ooh. before him all right um they let's see here war pig grenadier wilbur uh, can shoot so he scans the area of the gunfight going on um, and he's going to shoot at Olivia. She just, you know, he's just seeing like the, the gunshots come off from like the windows up there or whatever, right? 
And uh, that's it. There's nobody that's shooting at each other, so why don't you go first, Connor? Or, uh, ben. Jake? Ben? Yeah, I mean, I don't have anybody to shoot. So. Yeah. Is Ben the only one that can shoot right now, to my yeah. knowledge? Oh, you guys, yep. Yeah. All right, he's going to shoot at uh, Grenadier Keith, I believe. That's uh, two damage. Yep, he gets up, tries to make a move. He shoots him, you know, maybe hits a fleshy part of his leg. Um, not enough to kill, but enough to uh, make him think twice about his choices moving forward. Fuck well, yeah, keeping a pan down there. I'm going to see where the hit location is. I meant his, the side. His side, not his leg. <laughs> Poor so. <laughs> yeah, just, pshh, hits his flank. He, like, he, he has he has his rifle, you know, he's looking at the top of the of the building and, and something pshh, hits him. He feels something burn in his flank and he puts his right hand down. It's all sticky and black. He's like, ah, oh, fuck. Um, this guy, Goose, he has his rifle and Pops off a shot towards Olivia. Do, uh, are they, what are they fire? Are they firing rifles? Damn. Yeah, uh, he's got a rifle. Sorry, right, we'll have some rifles later. Maybe. Oh, she's hit. Mm -hmm. What's that look like? As she's battered, went away from almost dying. Yeah, she's. They're both peeking out the opposite side of the window, and one comes in and just nails her in the shoulder and uh, throws her back onto the uh, middle of the floor, bleeding on the rug. Uh, I think that is all the. Range combat that can happen that I can think of. Oh shit. You came back. <laughs> yeah, it's like drawing to drawings, not, not those. There you go. And so it's now it's round four. Oh, no, no, no. We got to do movement. Are you guys moving at all? Uh, no. I, I, think, I, I think Jake will, honestly. He doesn't have a shot here, so. Uh, he looks back at Olivia. I guess I won't yet. Yeah, she's bleeding. So did she? She had cover, right? So she only has one. Mm -hmm. Did she take one damage or two? She took two. Oh yeah. She got hit I in see. the right see. leg. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that'd be pretty difficult, but yeah. So she was she was standing on the windowsill. <laughs> I can do like weird answer. things, dude. As I've seen bullets do some weird shit. Right. Yeah, it just goes through the wall. It's like JFK bullet. Get a leg up. <laughs> Maybe she got excited. I don't know. Alright. Well, if you guys aren't going to move, they're going to try. I'm going to keep doing this uh, rules as written. See what happens. Yeah, please move. Move closer. No. <laughs> How many D6s have I just rolled with these guys? And nobody's rolled a six. They, and they, all, they all got rifles, right? No. No, no. They would be shooting at you, dude. Some of them do. Okay. They're scared because I'm keeping them pinned down and killed their leader. There we go. Shit, I mean, it's working. That's it. Moving the range. That's what I say. <laughs> yeah. And now we can all levitate him. I'll have to move uh, this other guy's out of the way. The dead one. Just to tokens. But move the goose right to his place. See what Wilbur can do. Nothing. Okay. Um, let's see. Movement done. Blah, blah, blah. Incidentals. Okay. Yeah, that, that boat gets closer and closer and closer. And uh, somebody else finally, finally hops off. 
Bill Baker, if you have line of sight, give me a scout check. A scout check. You messed up. They see each other. You see you see your, your ex wife get down off the boat. What? She start she starts running up towards a build, building. And I'm gonna say your mess up like you come out of your cover, right? Okay. Like, uh, maybe you're scared or like what the fuck? Rain. Like how you tell me how it happens. Uh yeah, he's like uh, I guess sitting next to Ben and uh, peeking over the the railing, and he says another fucking boat coming up. God damn! And then uh, and then he notices uh, her come off, and he's like, "What the fuck? Holy shit! That's my goddamn ex-wife! Rain, Rain, get the fuck down!" And he uh, stands up while he's fucking saying this. All right, we'll move on to the next round. We'll start with you. What do you do? He's going to shoot this guy. All right. What are you going to do, Mr. Jake? I mean, Jake's going to shoot. Uh, not, not Jake. I'm sorry. I'm going from bottom to top. <laughs> uh, ben. Ben. He's uh, he's going to finish off the guy he's shooting at. Hold your horses there, Bill Baker. Oh, success. <laughs> yeah, he's going to finish off Keith. Keith? Yep. All right. Connor? Connor, of course, is going to go after Goose there. Everybody's going to be hitting Goose. And that makes uh, what I said earlier all the all the more perfect. Maybe we'll be friends with them. Browning? Browning and, uh, and Olivia, what are you guys doing? I'm going to shoot... Uh... The only guy I can goose. I guess you got. Yeah, you guys have Olivia. Short, short I, he, uh, Jake tells Olivia to stay down since so she's like, just stay. It's fine. Get some pressure on that. <laughs> so he's gonna shoot at either uh, uh, either Connor or uh, Olivia. Olivia. Olivia's down on the ground, right? It'd be me. Be you. All right, shoots at you then. I could miss and still hit her. <laughs> Plywood does amazing things. Like not stop bullets. All right, let's see if he gets the shot off first. I don't think he will. Um, we shoot him first, yeah. Yeah, you guys are going to shoot him first. I'm guessing. He's going top to bottom. Bottom to top. Bottom to top. Go ahead, Bill Baker. Yeah, he only got one success. He only get one success, so I washed. <clears throat> you guys all gonna shoot him? I mean, I am. Bill Baker. Yeah, I, I rolled. Uh, I just got that right. one success. So that would miss because of the cover. Unless um, you push it. Unless you oh, push yeah. it. Yeah. Well, are you talking about he's shooting at uh, Warpig Goose? Oh, yeah, Warpig Soldier Goose, yeah. Uh, doesn't he have to roll for cover now that he moved? He would. Let's see if he has cover. Trying to razzle-dazzle you. I'm trying to help you out. We'll so you can go get your bitch. He has no cover. Kabloom. So that would hit him for... Uh, two, two, what, damage. two damage. Yeah, two damage. That would make him battered. Now it's up to the other boys. Or uh, uh, Connor. Connor shooting too, right? Yeah. So Mike, who's next? You guys finish him off, then I'll finish off Keith. Gotcha. Is that another 
one dead? Dead. Yeah, kind of sees him uh, get hit a couple times by uh, Bill Baker there and sees he has an opening. Takes it. Takes the kill away from Jake. That's loud. Reset all my volumes when I did this thing. So you went. You went. Did you, you did you go yet, Walker Pack? Nope. I'm gonna go right now. All right. He's not gonna get that off that shot off. Okay. Now it's your turn. Holy cow! Holy cow! Damn. By Keith. Pretty. Grenadier Keith. Yeah, he got hit in the side, and he's kind of like trying to move slowly. He's got one hand over his side as he's maybe trying to get behind uh, a clump of uh, beach chairs or something. And he just gets hit once, twice, and then does a spin and collapses on top of the pile of chairs. Uh, Tet and Olivia. Uh, well, um, Jake, Jake yeah. is just, uh, he looks over to Olivia, just stay down, just stay down. He doesn't obviously have anything to do because nobody's close enough, but he's actually gonna, um, I'm going to move away from the window completely. Um, so they can't shoot up here and then I'll move back maybe next time. I don't know. You can hear Peckerwood saying. Keith! Trina! Trina Toby! Wilbur! God damn it! All you motherfuckers dying on me! Oh, you run up there, bitch! You run up there! You do your job! Um, Peckerwood says, and uh, in this turn, rain. Everybody's gone. It's a uh, movement. Anybody else going to move? I'm, just I am, I'm moving away from the window. What do you want? What? Just away from the just window in, so I can't be shot just, at. Just into the interior? Yeah. All right. Uh, Peckerwood's going to try to move cautiously. No. <laughs> Wilbur's going to try to move cautiously. He does. Come on in the rain, Wilbur. And rain don't move cautiously. He just runs up there trying to get... Trying to go towards the entrance. She's running as fast as she can. Hold your fire, goddammit. <laughs> Get him, bitch! You hear Pecker Woods saying. <laughs> what, are, what, are, what are the rest of you guys doing? Let's go from bottom to top. Bill Baker. Um, I think Bill is going to move. like, But it's only kind of over here to where he thinks he's going to intercept her at, you know? So he's trying to like keep down on cover a little bit, but, uh, but he's shouting to Rain and to the others to... To not shoot her. Uh, he's just shouting, "Don't shoot her! Don't shoot her!" And he's like, "Rain, come over here!" She hears you. You can see there's tears in her eyes now. As she's running, running your direction. What are the rest of you guys doing then? Ben's going to continue shooting at people all along the beach, knowing that there's plenty of firepower up close, but only he can hit the people coming ashore. So, who's left on the shore? Peckerwood, looks like. Well, looks like Peckerwood's going to get... Uh, no! We'll keep him alive for torture, don't worry. Who said no? <laughs> no. Uh -oh. <laughs> His favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Pick a wood. We'll, we'll keep him alive for the next episode for the first of many <laughs> torture scenes. Let's see. Oh, he doesn't have a long range weapon either. All right, you're going. All right, so you're shooting towards him. Uh, let me see if my drawing implement is better now. Let's see. Yeah, they're a little better. Okay, Connor. It will move within my range. Yes. Shoot rain, man. 
I, he just said don't shoot rain so i'm not gonna shoot rain i'm like man a little confused though but okay i'll take out the guy with the beard <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you shoot first, though, Jake. Jake is not next to the window. I don't think I can shoot this round. Uh, so you and Li Olivia are just like tucked up down there. Yeah, he's gonna check on her. He's like, "Are you okay? Are you okay?" He's like, it's your leg. "Yeah, my leg. Ah, it's bleeding. It's bleeding bad." He'll try to make a tourniquet. Does he have anything? I doubt it. He got a shirt, right? Well, I mean. You go get some. I mean, she's is she bleeding out? I mean, no, no, she's she's hurt though. He just he just like, just stay down, just stay down, and he kind of like takes the table in the room and turns it over like in front of her to give her a little extra cover almost. And that's what he does with his round. All right. So, taking covers next. So that guy needs to see if he can take cover then, huh, Wilbur? Wilbur about to be caught with his pants down. Let's see. Let's see if he gets cover or not. Does he? Of course not. I never put anything into mobility because I didn't remember this rule. <laughs> oh, we didn't, I've never seen the rule. <laughs> All right, so he does not have cover. So now it's on to ranged combat. Anybody shooting each other? I guess uh, I, I guess the answer is Wilbur needs to shoot somebody, doesn't he? Fuck, he's gonna throw a Molotov. He has a Molotov. All right, so I gotta hit him then, huh? Oh, ho, ho. got two. And he's in cover, so that's three. You better shoot at him, buddy. You better you better hit him. No. no. I hit him at least. Him, right? No, oh, he got what do you get? He got what how many? Well he's not in get? cover, so he got hit twice. Oh, he's not in cover, so you get two, two. That's four. So, so it's a tie, so it's both then, I think, in this system. Is that right, I think Dave? It's P? a tie is you both succeed. But yeah. Oh, Can I nice. both so he sets the building on fire and you and... kill him. Yeah. Can I sh can I shoot him? Oh, oh, he's dead. Yeah, you're dealing with your wifey, ain't you? Yeah, you didn't declare. You yeah. said you're dealing with her. Come to me, baby. I'm gonna shoot Let's her. See... <laughs> <laughs> no. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. Um, we did Finally smoke inhalation, right? There you go. Guests are trapped. Seen to try to save them or not. So. That's the, it's the girls. It's the girls. Shit. Well, is this the movement phase? It's Elizabeth and Laura. Laura. No, it's shooting phase. Uh, it's a shooting phase. I mean, I'm inside already. Well, well this I is going to have to wait till the next turn. Yeah. Well, until the movement phase. Okay. But that, yeah, you hear them like a big crash as like the building set on fire again. Um, next round, I'm going to roll on that table again. If something bad is bad, it's going to happen. Um, but you hear those two girls, like a big beam. Like in all the movies, right? the beam comes down. There's embers and sparks everywhere. <laughs> Hold close to me. <laughs> well, we know what Ben's doing next round. So he's going to he's gonna try and hit Peckerwood on the way out. All right. Good question. Uh, is Wilbur dead before damage? He's dead. So there nope, was... not no nope, not not before the, the damage. The no no time. no. I said I did four damage. Oh yes, he is dead. He is I dead. Just to, I just want to make sure for my stress. Oh you're you're about <laughs> to see the death. Oh, success is three. That's against that, Peckerwood. That would kill him. Tell me how Peckerwood well, can meets I, his doom. Well, I was gonna have him. That's fine, captured. you can beat him. That's okay. Let me see where it hit him then. Let me see where it hit him. Like a non-lethal? Head, 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 head. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, he, he's still alive. 
Yeah, well, let's see. Critical injuries. I was going to say, if we want to keep him alive for one more episode, uh, I don't know, it hit him right in the base of the right hand and blew his hand off. Yeah. And he just collapses in, like, shock and blood loss. Not dead. He'll wish he was, it was though, come next turn, but uh, next episode. But, yeah, he kind of holds a hand up, like, move forward, and just gets hit right where it connects to the freaking bone and it just <laughs> falls off kind of look over at bed at that point go get your girls man i'll go make sure it's clear yeah once we get to movement phase he's gonna haul ass i think that's all the shooting close combat nothing movement I mean, unless we start slapping uh, uh, Bill Baker's wife around, that's all we got, right? Oh, well, Bill Baker's wife is going to move. Uh, and then uh, only one of you is going to move is who? Uh, ben? Ben, yep. So I need Let's to do, do that scene. Mobility. Let's do that scene real quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do mobility. You do get there. You get there, and uh, uh, you run down the steps. Too, yeah, just do the scene with you guys saving these girls. So as the fire is starting to, to spread, um, you know, he slings the AR over his back, and maybe a piece of uh, timber ceiling is collapsed uh, near the door, and he can hear the girls screaming, and he just... He, he didn't, like, deadbolt it or anything, but it is secured maybe a little bit with like one of the um, chains or something. And he just like boots it in and comes running. He's like, girls, girls. And he kind of goes down and scoops one up in each arm. And uh, he's like, we got to get out of here. Just press your chest or press your face against mine. Try not to breathe in too much smoke. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Jake comes around the corner with a, uh, fire extinguisher and is kind of uh, shooting it behind uh, Ben and the girls as they kind of exit to kind of keep the f flames from licking at their back. And as that happens, uh, kind of running through the front door is Rain. She's running, just tears streaming down her eyes. There's like, like, like weak old mascara. Oh my God, my baby, my baby. I want, um, uh, who's standing there with her? Um, kind of next to Bill and Bill's next to her. Okay. I want you guys both to make a scout. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> I already know what's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> you hold your scalp. Bill's just too flabbergasted. Whoa! Lies. Do you want to push, Bill? Uh, yeah. I think it makes sense to the stress, probably. Yeah. There we go. Seven, you seven both successes. See a blinking LED coming from beneath her blouse. And as you embrace her, Bill, you feel an explosive vest. Each of you can try to make a mobility roll oh to jump God. out of the way. Because she's going to explode. Suicide bomber. Picture of the orc from Hell's <laughs> 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 That's why Trekker Wood was telling get her to there, get up it. there. And there's a cutscene with that asshole butcher out in his boat with a little remote control. And he says, boom. And he clicks it. What do you guys do? I get to hug her one more time at least, right? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> you, can, you can. You can hug her. And if you want yeah, to walk away, you have to do the mobility. And if you don't do the mobility, you're going to get vaporized. Yeah, he like hugs her. When, and uh, and uh, that's when he notices it, right? I mean, that, that's what I pictured yeah. anyway. When yeah, said. yeah. Uh, so he like looks down and... Uh, and uh, just in a split second, he throws her back over the railing and jumps. Oh, no. 
I got a minus two at this. Oh shit, you have armor on. That's right. Yeah. Oh, can I use my drive? You already used During it. your push? Oh, oh, I'm already. You did use it. You already, already it. connected it. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna push. You can, you can push. Oh, that's a good push. That's a good push. What are you gonna do, Connor? He... Um, how do I do a minus two? Just type in minus two. It does the math for you. In the bonus part, I think. Mm hmm. Oh, what happens? Yeah, he, he, uh... You don't, you don't get away. He, uh... I don't know, maybe as Bill pushes her, uh, he pushes Bill and hits her at the same time. Like a football tackle. Yeah, like trying to save Bill or something. He no, gets yeah. in the back. As she gets pushed over, she reaches out and grabs Connor. <laughs> Pulls him with her. Grabs him by the armor. Yeah, as you're hugging her, right? Mm hmm. They both go over the rail. Shit. Give me the last scenes of your death, both of you guys. Well, well I guess uh, Rogue doesn't die. He's, he's gonna survive. Yeah, so as as Bill's hugging his, his soon to be wife, and as he kind of discovers that there's a bomb vest. Connor uh, spotted it uh, while they were still embraced. So the last first thing in, thought in Connor's mind is to get his friend uh, and his comrade out of danger. Um, so he kind of steps in there and, and as Bill's releasing, right, to push her, he pushes Bill and he grows over the uh, railing there with the, the wife as he hits her with like a like a shoulder, right? Kind of like a tackle. And then... Hopefully it helps absorb some of that blast from the Haven. <laughs> yeah. And the Haven's now on fire from two places and they're rolling that fun table again. see here hey, hey, hey. so the, the the ceiling collapses and the entire kitchen area catches on fire like where all the stuff is stored that's going on too now that the ex place is exploded what are the rest of you guys doing as we go and wrap up the game for this night I guess uh, are any NPCs or Danny leading to put out the fire? Oh yeah, they're they're trying to put out the fire for sure. Let's see. Try to use Danny again. Yeah. It's an AT6 fire at this point, though. No successes. That's an opposed check. She's going to automatically win that. So yeah, the fire is eventually put out. Um, I think we well, we had eight deaths, eight NPC deaths. Olivia's hurt bad. Was it eight or four? The four people caught on fire. Four. Oh no, the, 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 the smoke, smoke inhalations. They survived though. Remember, they, 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 they did the. Uh, yeah, they made their um, endure roll or whatever it was. <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even have to try to kill yourself this time, Sam. No, no. Still went out the back of a building, though. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He did. Can Bill, uh, kind of sh shakily, uh, climbs back over the the edge, hoping like a miracle happened or something. But when he peeks down, he notices uh, Connor and her are gone, and uh, 
he kind of he drops down there, uh, like holding you know both of their remains, I guess, in his hands, and uh, he's just all fucked up looking and staring out towards the beach. If she's here, you know where is his son? Sounds like a good place to end it. Where is the sun? All right, that's it for tonight. Goodbye, very Sam. fun. I feel bad for Sim, but that was a very fun episode. It was it